we till the earth, we tend the ground, sowing hope and peace where none is found. In selfless love, God's life abounds, we till the earth, we tend the ground. As God provides our every need, with grateful hearts, let us receive. These gifts of love and make return, to bless the world, to bless the world, we till the earth. We tend the ground, sowing hope and peace where none is found. In selfless love, God's life abounds. We till the earth, we tend the ground. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Let us prepare ourselves to take part in these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have my thoughts and my words, what I have done, what I have done. Through, through my faults, through my faults, through my gravestly faults. Therefore, I ask to bless Mary, every virtue, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive our sins, and bring us an everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison.
Almighty, our living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice and proclaimed, let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made both Lord and Christ this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and they asked Peter and the other apostles, what are, what are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promises made to you and to your children and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call, he testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. shepherd I shall not want in verdant pastures he gives me repose beside restful waters he leads me he refreshes my soul the Lord is my shepherd there is nothing I shall He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, 
my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, if you are patient, when you suffer for doing what is good, this is a grace before God. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his footsteps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was insulted, he returned no insult. When he suffered, he did not threaten. Instead, he handed himself over to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body upon the cross, so that, free from sin, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, for you have gone astray like sheep, but you have now returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. The word of the Lord. Good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep and mine know me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. <laughs> Jesus said, Amen, Amen. I say to you, whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gate, but climbs over elsewhere, is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep bear, the sheep hear his voice. As the shepherd calls his own sheep by name and leads them out, when he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him, because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, the Pharisees did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, Amen. I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me or the thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in, come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came so that they might have life and have it more abundantly. 
Holy Gospel of the Lord. May the words of the Gospel. On this fourth Sunday of Easter, the church celebrates Christ as the Good Shepherd. On this Good Shepherd Sunday, church invites us to pray for vocations to the priesthood, the diaconate, and the consecrated life. All the scripture readings of today use the image of a shepherd and his flock to describe the unique relationship of God with his people. In the first reading, we see the Peter, the head of the apostles, he preached on behalf of the apostles on the day of Pentecost with the power of the Holy Spirit. He reminds his Jewish listeners that they have crucified their true shepherd, so they need to receive forgiveness for their sins by receiving baptism in the name of Jesus and acknowledging the risen Jesus as their Lord and Savior. His powerful preaching had a great success. His powerful preaching converted 3,000 people in a single day. This is the most significant conversion of souls ever recorded in the history of humankind in a single day. The lesson here is quite simple. A shepherd who prepares himself and works with the Holy Spirit will become a powerful instrument in God's hands. God knew that Peter was prepared and capable, so he gave him a great harvest of souls. In the second reading, Peter encourages the suffering Christians to follow the follow in the footsteps of Good Shepherd, that is Jesus. Peter further reminds us that to be a Good Shepherd, one must endure sufferings as Christ did for the sake of his flock. He was not selfish or neglected his duty. Instead, he gave everything for the good of his flock. These are the qualities of a Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd offers everything for the sake of his flock. We must imitate Christ, the Good Shepherd, who dared the devil to save us. In the Gospel, Jesus points out more qualities of the Good Shepherd. The one who enters through the gate is the Good Shepherd of the flock. His sheep hears the, his voice and follows him. Here. Jesus teaches that we must build a good relationship with our community based on love, trust, and mutual respect. We also must, take, we also must make Christ as the shepherd of our souls. This means listening to his voice through the scriptures and keeping up the church's traditions. We must listen to him to be truly the sheep of the Lord's flock. He knows when to place us on his shoulders to take us by the hand like his little children. So let us make the risen Christ as our good shepherd in our lives. Profess our faith. I believe in God, all things visible and invisible. I believe in Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, conceptual with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. 
and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures he ascended into heaven and he is seated at the right hand of the father he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end i believe in the holy spirit the lord the giver of life who proceeds from the father and the son who with the father and the son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets i believe in a holy catholic and apostolic church i confess on baptism for the forgiveness of sins and i look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come amen with the trust in the risen lord let us offer him our petitions for our holy father that his ministry may continue to bear fruit in the hearts and minds of all the faithful we pray to the lord lord hear our prayers that world leaders may pursue the path of true peace which is based on justice and the protection of human rights we pray to the lord lord hear our prayers that many may hear and answer the call to become priests deacons and religious brothers and sisters we pray to the lord lord hear our prayers that as followers of jesus who came that all may have life we may actively oppose abortion euthanasia capital punishment and all assaults on human dignity we pray to the lord lord you are our prayers that those who are ill may be surrounded by the love prayers and concerns of all that followers of christ we pray to the lord lord you are our prayers that like the man born blind we will allow jesus to open our eyes and hearts to his will and to inspire more men and women to respond to his call to serve him and his church as priests deacons and in the consecrated life we pray to the lord lord you are our prayers that those who have died may be granted the fullness of life and resurrection especially lauren faria ida manuel and dorothy tshera segunda visaya we pray to the lord for the special intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts we pray to the lord lord you are our prayers let us pray lord loving father we thank you for your son the good shepherd may we may we be faithful to him as he protects us from evil and leads us to all that is good for his lord forever and ever amen today we have the second collection for Catholic Home Mission Appeals. to 
brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father yes. sacrifice to hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all the church grant we pray o lord that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our lord amen the lord be with you amen. lift up your hearts amen. let us give thanks to the lord our god amen. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you o lord but in this time above all to love you yet more gloriously when christ our passover has been sacrificed through him the children of light rise to eternal life on the halls of the heavenly kingdom our throne open to the faithful for his death is our ransom from death and in his rising the life all has risen therefore overcome with paschal joy every land every people exalt in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim our indeed holy world lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name 
देर पर वो लॉर्ड वी फॉर यू become the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries for on the night he was betrayed he himself took bread and gave you thanks he said the blessing broke the bread and gave to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and give you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith save us savior of the world for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free for our lord as we celebrate the memory of the saving passion of your son his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven and as we look forward to his second coming we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice look we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his holy spirit may become one body one spirit in christ may he make up us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed joseph our spouse with your blessed apostles and all glorious martyrs and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help may this sacrifice of our reconciliation we pray o lord advance the peace and salvation of all the world be pleased to conform in faith and charity your pilgrimage your pilgrim church on earth with your servant our pope francis and our bishop maren quarter on the order of bishops and all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion merciful father gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life give kind admittance to your kingdom there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through christ our lord through whom you bestow on the world all that is good through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever the savers command and formed by divine teaching and we dare to say our father 
thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not in temptation but deliver us from every evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ Lord Jesus Christ who said your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will who lives and reigns forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always amen. let us offer each other the sign of peace Behold the lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb God am not worthy to receive unto my roof but only say the word my soul shall be healed may the body and blood of Christ gives us an everlasting life
let us pray look upon your flock kind shepherd and be pleased to settle in your eternal pasture the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your son who lives and reigns forever and ever amen please be seated announcements communion service on may 4th there will be no morning mass this thursday may 4th instead there will be a communion service with deacon jeff many of our priests will be on retreat father gilbert will be celebrating mass on the other weekdays tacos and tequilas and tequila Friday, May 12th, from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Tickets can be purchased through the school office at $30 each. Please see the bulletin for more information. Parking. Please be mindful and respectful when parking. We have recently noticed many cars parked outside of the designated stalls in areas that will potentially block emergency vehicles. Please help us keep everyone safe. Priest's Appreciation Dinner. Saturday, May 6, tickets for the Priest's Appreciation Dinner are available in the parish office and will be sold after all masses. This is the last weekend to purchase tickets. We have only approximately 50 tickets remaining. So please purchase your ticket ASAP because this is the last opportunity you will have. First Saturday devotion. The Legion of Mary invites you to honor Mary on May 6 at 8 o'clock a.m. morning mass. There will be a presentation of flowers to Our Lady. Chaplet of Divine Mercy and Family Rosary. The Knights of Columbus and Legion of Mary invite all parish families to our monthly Chaplet of Divine Mercy and Family Rosary to be held on Sunday, April 30th at 3 o'clock p.m. in the church. Thank you. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mass is ended. Go in peace of Christ. Thank you all. Have a blessed evening.
tell the good, good news. Go out, go out to all the world and tell the good news. Tell the good, good news. Have a blessed week.